All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. Coach Dusty back with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. This video is gonna be helpful for you guys if you are thinking about moving to a new city, a new beginning, something that you've been thinking about for a while. Now is the time to pull that trigger. So yes, the title is correct. I am moving to Houston, Texas in the next month or two. I don't have an official date yet, but it's very exciting and it's also very scary in a sense because this is something I've never done before. I've been in my home city for my entire life, 26 years, and I've had some apartments. I've lived away from home. I'm back home right now and I'm just ready to take on a new version of myself and I think that requires me to adventure, right? Life is an adventure. Life is supposed to be fun, right? And if you find yourself in too much of a comfortable environment for too long, maybe a routine that you keep doing for too many, too often, you just get in a funk. And that's kind of where I found myself as a 26 year old. I went to college, went to, you know, did what everyone told me you're supposed to do, right? You went to college, got a job, worked full time, started my own own business, been doing that for the past few years. And it just, it's part of me just like doesn't feel like I'm living up to my full potential. And that's one of those things where you really need to take a hard look at because your life is important. Who you are as a person and who you must become is vital. And you have to do that. And if you find yourself in, in a complacent complacency type of routine, then you're never going to evolve into the person that you need to become. So that brings me to my first point in why I'm moving to Houston. It's because I want a new beginning. I want a fresh start to figure out who I am, right? And that's something, sometimes you need to go on an adventure. Sometimes you need to be away from everyone you know. And sometimes you need to be alone in order for you to kind of Tune in to that version that you may have been neglecting. Tune into that person that you know you need to become, but there's so much going around, so much going on around you in your hometown, home city, that you just need a break from it all. You need to just get away. And that's kind of the feelings that I'm having right now. And it's something that I'm excited about, but also a little nervous about because, you know, it's a new city, new beginning. You don't know anyone. You don't have, you know, there's no job there for when I get there. I mean, I'm going to be starting up my painting business and, and finding work and all that's good, but it's still going to be a struggle and a grind, but that's what makes you stronger. And that's what will allow you to level up into the person that you know you need, you need to become. Because like I was saying, if you are in a complacent environment for too long, you will never grow into the person that you need to become. So if you guys are thinking about maybe doing a move, now might be the time. So Houston is a place that I have been looking at. I'm really into golf and outdoor things, fitness. And this is something that this town or this city in particular is one that I could see myself living in. There's a lot of nice golf courses, a lot of nice communities. There is some perks in terms of affordability that will that's technically my second point right point one being able to just start a new beginning right point two is the affordability of houston texas now with houston the real estate compared to here in upstate new york you're looking at a for like a two two bedroom two bath house or three bedroom two bath house like at least a fifty thousand dollar difference in price sometimes more so, and then in terms of rent, like the rent that I was paying in my previous apartment, I was paying 1,050. Now in, uh, in Houston, I'm looking at places at between 650 and 750. So this is about a $300 difference in the rent. And then there's a huge difference in obviously the cost of homes. Now, in terms of affordability, you also have to consider that there is no state income tax in Texas. So this is something that I'm also looking at and considering if I wanna live there full time. You know, I've never been there, so I really can't speak on 
you know, what it's like yet, but this is just something that's going through my mind and st stuff that I'm thinking about for my future. So it's something that I need to start to have those thoughts and start to plan out, you know, where I want this adventure to, to end up, right? Because that's the whole point. You want to end up in a place that makes you happy, a place that you feel like you could make it your home. And that's really important because although this hometown in upstate New York has been my home, my friends are here, my family is here, that does not necessarily mean that you can't build a life for your own in a different state and build your own family and have people come and visit you, right? You need to be able to have that risk mentality that you could just go and figure it out because there's a lot of people that have been coming up to me recently that have been, you know, proud of, of me for, for taking this step, right? It, it could be, it could be a, a little intimidating to, to just move, right? To new, move to a new city that you don't know anyone, but this is going to make you stronger guys. So you need to stick to your roots and stick to the fact that this is what your heart desires. So do that, stick to it. It's going to pay out in the long run. If you really tap into the potential of what this could actually become if you actually use this opportunity to better yourself and, and push further into who you know you need to become. My last point has to do with the weather. Now, I'm in upstate New York. It gets really cold starting in the end of October, middle of October, all the way through even March. So, for a good five, six months, it's normally not great weather in New York. And although Houston, Texas will get super hot, I think I'd rather deal with the heat than dealing with the snow. And it's just something that I want to try out, right? I've been living in the snow blizzards for all my life. And this time where I get like seasonally depressed. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but in New York, especially in, in coming up soon, October, November, things start to get a little rocky and, and things could get a little depressing when it, it's so dark, it gets so dark so early, snowy, rainy, the weather's not as great. My businesses normally do take a hit because I'm painting, you know, it's better in the, in the summer. My couch flipping business stops completely in October through the winter because I can't flip couches in, in the, in the cold, like in the snow like that, the weather is not great. There's not as many good days. I've done it up through January, the couch flipping, but it's not, it's not best. I'll have better success moving to Houston in the winter and continuing my businesses there than I would here. And I can also kind of manipulate that seasonal depression by moving towards the sun. So that's my big three reasons why I'm moving to Houston. I'm gonna keep you guys updated along this journey. I have a weight loss transformation series that I'm gonna be starting. It's gonna be called The Road to Houston. So look forward to that. And yeah, guys, this is super exciting. This is gonna be a new chapter in my life. I'm going to really take YouTube serious because I love this. This is something that is near and, and, and true to my heart, something I've always wanted to do, but never really took it 100% serious. That changes now. So until next time, this has been your boy, Coach Dusty. I'm out. Peace.